Okay, let's have a little look at strong acids and strong bases and the key equations that you need to think about. Classic examples of strong acids, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, very strong acids, and these acids fully dissociate. And what that means is you get lots and lots of H3O plus ions, They're fully dissociate. Bases, classic examples of strong bases, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and again, fully dissociate lots and lots of OH minus ions. Now, if I want to calculate the pH of a strong acid, it's dead easy. pH is equal minus log to the base 10, the concentration of my H3O plus ions. In the same way, if I want to calculate the pOH, strong base, pOH will equal minus log to the base 10, concentration OH minus ions. Very easy to remember. And these are very important equations. Now, all things being equal, the pH scale runs between 1 and 14. But remember, that also means that the pOH scale will run between 1 and 14. So let's just do a couple of examples. Just focusing on strong acids, I'll probably use HCl as an example, and a strong base, sodium hydroxide. Key thing to remember is strong acids, strong bases fully dissociate. Lots and lots of H3O plus ions, lots and lots of OH minus ions. So, let's just pick, just pick one example at random. I'll call it 0.2 molar. Remember what that capital M means, moles per litre. 0.2 molar hydrochloric acid. And I want to calculate the pH and I'd also like to calculate the pOH for this acid. So we'll use my calculator here. It's 0.2 molar. Remember, strong acid, I'm thinking straight away, full dissociation. So pH equals minus log to the base 10 concentration of my acid. Now I know it's 0.2 molar, so that's easy enough. Remember those square brackets means concentration. So log. 0.2. Now don't forget, you've got to take that minus off. So I'm going to end up with a pH, I'll call it not point, I'll call it 0 0.70. So the pH is 0 0.70. Now hopefully from the lectures we're all comfortable, once again, that pH runs all things being equal between 1 and 14. So effectively everything's got to add up to 14. So if the pH is 0.7, what will the pOH be? Well that's easy. 14 minus 0.7, should be able to do this in our heads, gives us 13.3. Now what you've got to remember about the pH and pOH when you do these calculations is this bit here. Log to the base 10, it's logarithmic, it's the power of. And all we're doing effectively with the pH scale is trying to make reasonable numbers out of what can be really, really small numbers. I'm just trying to make sense out of it. So there's a classic example. Right, let's do a base this time. Let's focus on why not. We'll do 0.3 molar sodium hydroxide. Okay, same principle. Sodium hydroxide, so I'm thinking strong base. It's going to fully dissociate, so lots and lots of OH minus ions. What I'd like to know, first of all, is what the pOH is going to be, and then maybe the pH. So, pOH will be equal to minus, minus log base 10, OH minus ion concentration. Easy enough, I know what the concentration is, 0.3. So once again, back to the calculator, log, 0.3. Whatever the answer is, I've got to take the minus off. In this particular case, it's given us a value of 0.52. So the pOH of sodium hydroxide is 0.52. That's telling me there's lots and lots of OH minus ions present, which is exactly what I would expect. So what will the pH be? Remember, all things being equal, it's got to add up to 14. So 14 minus 0.52 gives me, again, we can do this in our heads, but I'll do it on the calculator, 13.48. Easy. 